You ready, Nick? Let's get him. Let's get him. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get it the fuck in. Happy 2022, man. I'm back. I've been dropping episodes on y'all. Shout out to everybody tuning into the Dribble Podcast. Um, I got a great topic for y'all. It's mostly going to be talking about me and real life shit. I know y'all like that. Shout out to uh, Don Bishop Aguilar. I just did an interview with him. It's going to be crack. It's going to be on this very platform. It won't be on YouTube till later, so make sure you subscribe to the dribble on all podcast platforms i also interviewed the Mussolini. i got that underground shit for y'all man so y'all just buckle up man it's gonna be more the same hip-hop sports and fashion packaged in different types of packages shout out to the pa knit you know what i mean my signature skull cap it's on my website www.therealdribble.com it's doing tremendous shout out to everybody who got them make sure y'all taking pictures man hashtag that shit pa knit you know what I mean? And and they wonderful, you know, fashion accessories and shit. When people see you with that hot shit on, make sure you let them know where you got it from, man. Shout out to the PA Knit. But anyway, um, I wanted to get on here today and talk to y'all about something that we deal with every day and something that we're going to continue to deal with forever. And um, it's troubleshooting. That's the topic for the day, troubleshooting. Um, I gave this some thought and I was like, man, I might as well just drop it on them, man, because it's something that I deal with every day. If you deal with computers, if you deal with machinery, um, troubleshooting, man, you're going to come to, um, a juncture when you have to, um, basically handle your problems and shit, you know what I'm saying? And with me, a lot of my troubleshooting, a lot of my problems end up being manifested by way of Apple computers. You know what I'm saying? The Final Cut Pro, man, that's that's one of the tools that I bring y'all, this gully TV shit. And at no time have I ever been formally trained. I didn't go to no school or anything. I just picked this shit up along the way. Shout out to JPAD, um, Nick Amadon, Podgy Carter, um, L Cardio, you know, the engineer guys who I was able to just sit and watch how y'all move and shit and y'all little cockpit and shit like that. Um, anything that I came in contact with during the course of me being cu- Gully TV, I had to solve it. I had to correct it. I had to, whatever challenge it was, I had to deal with it. So, yeah, troubleshooting is um, the topic for the day. Troubleshooting. Troubleshooting, in my opinion, is defined as the solution, the solution to whatever um, it is that's that's challenging us day to day. It could be family, relationships, um, communications, career, job. Whenever there's a problem that arises, we going to have to figure it out. So that's technically what troubleshooting is, identifying a problem and tackling it. Um, what prompted me to put, put this piece out was I felt that everybody could, you know, relate to it and shit. I had a video that I was doing for y'all recently. Um, shout out to Andre Leroy Davis. He's the illustration artist that appeared in the back of the source magazine. I just interviewed him. He's on this, uh, on this podcast platform. He's a couple episodes ago. You can go check that out. But, um, I interviewed him on a green screen and once I did the green screen interview, I was able to go in, of course, extract the audio. I extracted the audio and um, I could have just go went, went ahead and sent it to the podcast platforms and you guys will listen to it and that would just be it but it wouldn't do Andre Leroy Davis any justice because he's an illustration artist so I had to um make sure that y'all got a visual for this now what happened was I went to Andre Leroy Davis page and I downloaded some pictures and you know some images and a couple of slideshows and shit you know work that he did and I you know Jumped down into my editing posture. 
you know, I'm working, smoking my weed and shit, editing, and I'm putting together some dope shit. Um, there's times, any any um producer, editor, probably even MCs can tell you there's a you can enter the you can enter the zone sometimes and shit. And um, I had entered, I, I I was in the zone. I'm editing my ass off, man, and I got some dope some dope shit cooking and after about maybe three hours of editing you know doing my thing it was time for me to publish i go to hit publish and it won't render it won't even start rendering nothing it wouldn't even start the publishing process so that meant something was wrong i tried this i just i just dismantled the video build it again that's another three hours hit publish again Still nothing hit the same brick wall. This is that troubleshooting shit I'm telling you about. So um, what I did was I had to ultimately start taking the video apart piece by piece. The same way I put it together, I had to start taking it apart piece by piece. And after I took a piece off of it, I would hit publish to see what it published. Um, I did this probably about five times, six times, maybe seven times. Hit publish, nothing, 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 nothing. And um, I got an audience waiting for me. The whole world is waiting on a new episode from Gully TV and shit. This shit is, this shit is something to deal with. I can relate to when MC's got an album due and shit and the whole world is waiting on them and shit. You know, you got to really dig down into yourself to pull out what you need and shit. But anyway, I couldn't get this video fucking published, man. And I wanted to get y'all some dope, man, because I've been busy and I know y'all like my green screen format. So I took it apart. By the time I took eight pieces off of it, I found what it was. One of the uh, one of the videos that I got from Andre Leroy Davis was it was uh, some type of movie file, whatever the movie file was. When I downloaded it from Instagram, the file was corrupted. Boom. You can't do nothing with it. The computer's going to spit it out. What I did was I had to take the file that was corrupted. I ended up downloading a, uh, um, a video converter. I took the piece that was corrupted and I put it through the converter and I turned it into an MP4. I got the MP4 file. I reassembled the video. Hit publish. Jackpot. This, what I'm telling y'all is the condensed version. This was three days. It ended up being three days before it actually got uploaded to um to YouTube and shit. And I was constantly challenged by this shit, man. And I conquered it. And one thing about um, troubleshooting in regards to computers and, and you know the technical world, when you when you when you when 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 you when you um when you find your solution, when you get by, you feel you done did something slick. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> you ain't never been to school or nothing like that. And I'm like, yeah, man, I just like another another obstacle, man. I just leapfrog this shit, man, and dribble, man. These niggas can't fuck with me, man. That, that's another thing that keeps me often bragging. It's my um, long-term relationship with Apple computers and the software to go with it and shit, man. You got to be really something to, to tangle with Apple shit, man. They make this shit a certain way. It ain't compatible with nothing but Apple shit. So you just going to basically have to adapt. And, um... So many times I, uh, throughout recent years, I'm going to say recent years, that I had to troubleshoot and find an ultimate solution to my, for, to, for my problems because I didn't have anybody else. During the course of becoming Gully TV, anybody that I've worked with, I outworked them. You know what I mean? And ultimately found myself alone. So uh, any problem that arises, here I am again with this word, troubleshooting and shit. Um, I wanted to share this with everyone because trouble a, a troubleshoot can apply to anything. You could be at odds with your girl and you know you love the bitch. You know what I'm saying? You don't wanna you don't wanna be done with your girl. So you got to troubleshoot. You got to get to the bottom of whatever it is that's causing y'all some discord and shit like that. Often in relationships, the troubleshoot uh is manifested through communication. If you could communicate with someone you can basically uh, 
you know, calm any situation and find a problem and shit. This is the difference between a hot war and a cold war. You know what I mean? Cold world, cold, cold wars, dialogue, lack of communication lead to real wars, destruction and shit. So um, if we all collectively try to practice better troubleshooting, we just an unstoppable force, man. Um, because ain't nobody, you know, when you when you when you black. We don't have a lot of people to rely on. We have a hard time relying on each other. You know what I'm saying? So ultimately, you know, if you want to get to where you're trying to go, you want to be your best weapon. You want to be you, self, introspect through introspection. You got to dig within self and you're going to find a solution. Um, Erica Badu once said it on the song. If God made us in his image, then call us by our name. I'm going to say that again. Erica Badu once said, if God made us in his image, then call us by our name. God's got the solution. We got the solution. So, yeah, we got to get in tune with, you know, our inner genius and, and know that there's nothing that can stop us from, you know, achieving our goals. Nothing can stop us from achieving our goals and shit at some point when troubleshooting is required let's buckle down and, and claim our victories every time we troubleshoot a situation your roku ain't working right your kids video game system ain't working right your car ain't acting right you got different things going on around the house whenever we are faced with these situations and we don't have to call an expert, that means we troubleshooted it. That means we figured it out on our own. And that's something that I've had to do the whole time I've been Gully TV is troubleshoot. And um, that was primarily something that needed to be said. I want people to walk away from my platform, man, with weaponry. I don't want you to just come here and, and listen to these hip hop interviews, you know, these, these interviews, hip hop, sports, and fashion, I don't want you to just come here and listen to that and be done with it. I want you to come to this platform and take something with you. You feel me? My, it, my philosophy has never changed. Get your dribble right. When you come here, I want you to be able to get your dribble right. You dig what I'm saying? If you're familiar with my, uh, my platform, you know what I stand for. Hip hop, sports, and fashion. You dig what I'm saying? So, oh, Shout out to my my engineer said I'm in here clicking something around, man. My engineer plays no fucking games. This nigga's about 6'3". He looked like an R&B singer. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> he um, <clears throat> makes sure that my shit is mixed right, man. He put everything where it's supposed to be, man. They loving my dribble. They love when they, they said, man, well, that, that intro just tickles us to death. So, yeah, shout out to my engineer, man. We just... um. Bringing good things to life, man. Gully TV is something that's going to continue to be dominant in media. It's only one me. Um, that's the only unfortunate situation is I can't, you know, how you, Vlad can send people on assignments to interview people. You know, you get, I think one of the guys' name is Sean Prez and these different people who interview on behalf of Vlad. I tried that before. The people who, who fuck with Gully TV, they said, nah, man, I don't want to do that. It's not the same. If you don't interview me, it's not a Gully TV interview. So I, it's, it's just one me. And um, thanks to my expertise in troubleshooting, I'm going to figure it all out. Um, I got a documentary coming out. It should be out this summer, hopefully. We about to start. We would have been shooting the last two weeks. Um, me and Shaheem, the rugged child, is called Mike Jack. I put the artwork out. We go. We we were supposed to start shooting about two weeks ago. The inclement weather on the East Coast, all these storms, has, you know, cramped our style a little bit. But that's something that I want y'all to look out for. Um, this past week, one of my contemporaries, Doggy Diamonds, he lost his channel. Um, by YouTube, he's on another channel already, but uh, he lost his channel. Due to some type of circumstances, right? And it scared me. 
it scared me because I have a, I have over 3,000 videos on YouTube, over 3,000, probably like 3,200 or something like that. And um, they're on different, luckily for me, they're on different channels and shit. And I've, I've started to do that on purpose. I started to s spread them out on purpose because if something was to happen here, I could just go over to Gully TV Sports and shit like that. But they, 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 they got a hold of my man Dougie Diamond's channel. And it's just a tragedy. It's a tragedy as far as um, hip hop is concerned from our point of view. Doggy Diamonds is one of us. The content that he put out is authentic. He's a respected voice in the culture and shit. And once I seen that happen, I knew that I had to start putting more emphasis on placing my content places outside of YouTube. And I, I, I influence other people to look into other options outside of YouTube, too, because they just they exercising a lot of fucking power, man. Censorship. There's a list of people who have had their channels um, suspended, deleted, whatever, for whatever reason. And I just don't think it's fair because a lot of people put a lot of time, money, travel into publishing these videos and shit. Um because of that situation that happened with Doggy Diamonds, I'm going to be over here on this podcast platform a little bit more so y'all can get ready for a lot of dope shit. I'm also going to go back into my library and bring some of my old interviews to the plat podcast world in case y'all missed it. One of my more popular podcast uh, episodes here right now was the one I uploaded yesterday. Yesterday was actually... My highest count, views, clicks, downloads, streams, whatever. Yesterday was my highest ever. It was because I uploaded a story called, um, it was about Philadelphia. It's about me talking about Vision Quest and the Sucker Punch and the Low Lives. And, you know, it's just a, it's a crazy ass, dope ass piece of media that you might have missed. And like I said, I got 3,200 videos. So I'm going to start going into my archive library and start uploading some of these old jewels to, you know, to the podcast world so y'all can hear them. Um, shout out to everybody who's making a living in a car. I can't stress that enough. Uber drivers, the Lyft, uh, bus drivers, bus drivers, um, cab drivers, fucking UPS, FedEx, the United States Postal Service, DoorDash. All of these people who make a living in their vehicle, shout out to you, man. Y'all tuning in, and I'm loving it. I'm hearing a lot. I'm getting a lot of great feedback. The truckers, can't forget the truckers who I, who, who, who I started this for, who lit the fire under Gully TV to go to the podcast realm. Shout out to everybody who making a living in their vehicle. When you ride, take me with you. Take me with you. And I appreciate y'all repeatedly coming to my platform for this good dope. Um... I ain't going to stay long. I, uh, again, I just interviewed Aguilar to Don Bishop. I know y'all want that hip-hop, sports, and fashion. I got some shit coming from D.C. Uh, shout out to uh, Kareem Moat. Kareem Moat got a documentary that's going to premiere in about a week about Lorden. I'm covering that. I'm going to make sure I give y'all a dope presentation on that. Shout out to everybody that's listening. And most importantly, shout out to my engineer. Hey, Nick, I can't wait to... I get to the, I got to figure out how to play music in this motherfucker, man. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I could figure out how to play music on this podcast, I would like to come in this motherfucker playing Spice One or some shit. Murder, 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 motherfuckers. <laughs> I like to get to this. I, people want to hear that shit, man. I would like to play some old shit, man. South Circle, Spice One copyright shit i gotta figure out how to get around that copyright shit because i know these i i wonder can i license the songs can i license a song from someone i gotta look into that man i want to i'm about to turn this shit the fuck up you dig what i'm saying y'all gonna think y'all was surrounded when i'm done tell me and, and it's just me so um again i thank y'all for tuning in make sure y'all following me on all platforms spreaker spotify deezer Pocket Podcast, Amazon, Apple, all of the all of the big dogs, man. I'm there, man. And y'all keep me in this shit, man. And I appreciate it, man. I'm gonna continue to deliver this dope shit. 
Remember the key word for the day, troubleshooting. Whatever problem that you have, there's a solution. Peace.